All right, welcome back to OD5. This is Chris coming at you. Um, I did get a request for someone asking me how I go about cleaning my black drum. So I do want to go ahead and do an example of one here for you real quick. So sharp knife, definitely in play. And uh, shout out to Ronald because uh, he got on me for not having a good fillet knife. So uh, Ronald, this one might be for you a little bit too. But anyway, I, what I do with the black drum is I go ahead and I get started right up here near the head, the back of the head anyway, as I get in there like that. You see, you need a, a sharp knife to be able to do that. And then I actually come down the back, just like that. Let the knife rest against the spine. Run my way down. All right, then you can get your thumb in there. You can see you're making good, making good headway there as far as like being right on that spine there. All right, so we're gonna keep on down. All right, we're making our way through the fish. And you could break this, this rib cage up with another knife, but I'm just gonna do it with my fillet knife here and get it sharpened when I need to get it sharpened. Then I'm just gonna make my way around the head here. Just like that. And I do not uh, take the rib bones out. I keep that meat. All right, so we'll just set that down for a second. All right, make sure we cut all the way through up here. All right, so now we have that flipped out. And you notice that I left it attached there because uh, that's going to be my little magic to be able to actually get the, um, the flesh separated from the actual skin without scaling it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to press down on this. And I'm going to lift up here. And we're going to let the knife just walk down the base of that fish. getting close to the skin so sometimes you have to lift it up just so you don't end up cutting all the way through and I think I did end up cutting the through there a little bit but that's basically what you're looking at like I said I got a little bit of connection there so I'll just lift that up and cut that right out of there but all right so that's what you're looking at that's how you go about it and really it's flip and repeat You can see that I just uh, actually a little oven action, you know, trying to eat a little healthier, you know, not fry every time that um, I put fish on the table. But um, as much as I'm tempted to do that, I definitely got to make healthier choices from time to time. But you can see here with this, I just actually rubbed it down with olive oil, uh, set the oven to I want to say 425, something like that, and um, put them in there for about 20 minutes or so. You'll also notice that I scored them across the top with my fillet knife just to. Let that olive oil and the seasonings get down in there. And then you can see the olive oil in the back. Um, and then also the uh, salmon seasoning. That's actually from uh, Costco. Uh, definitely a great seasoning uh, if you have a Costco membership. Mine is expired right now. And then um, also uh, emerald fish rub that um, actually I picked up at Publix. Publix. Yeah, yeah, so I picked it up at Publix. And um, so it's in the mix as well. So I'll have to let you know review wise uh, how we enjoy the fish. And uh, we'll get back to you on that. All right, got it all plated up here. So you can see the black drum there. Have a little roasted sweet potato there. And you can see here we have a little mound of roasted um, broccoli and mushrooms. And then over on the left, or the right rather, is some roasted okra, which is one of my favorite veggies as well. So, and then that's wifey's plate over there. Some okra, some okra. <laughs> potato, potato. Oh, just flying. All right, so there you have it. So, um, you guys want to, want to pray with us? All right, we're going to bless the food. Okay. All right, here we go. Dear Lord, thank you for this food we're about to receive.